Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we're going to do one more method from iter tools and we're going to look at I slice. So all right, I thought of a little example that um, and also I want to remind you um, you got iterables and iterators. So all right, in Python anything that is an object that can be um, iterated gone over is an iterable now iterators are a more specific those only have the next function that can work on them so all right so this is what we're going to do we're going to take a iterable a list and turn it into an iterator and then we're going to use I slice. So, all right, let's run this, look at it. All right, so help dot iter tools tools dot I slice. Oops, helps if I, so I got fancy iter tools dot I slice. So, okay, here we go. And just like I said, takes in an iterable, returns an iterator, whose next method returns the value of an iterable. So, okay. And there we go, that implements the next function. So, okay. So, all right, let's just say, let me just copy this so I don't bore you. So, what this could work is that let's say so you don't want to get stuck using a for loop and you don't want to deal with it so you're just gonna have your students and group and also let's look at it so it takes the iterable that's the first then uh, stop if you only give it those two but it also where it really hits its functionality start stop and step just like our slicing from uh, that we've learned throughout throughout this channel so all right so then we go oh let's change this so what from iter tools import I slice as slice it's okay slice then students then I had so what I was thinking is let's say you wanted to divide up the class and every other one so the first group is Lynn students close that out and then you want every other one and then group two Two would be slice. How would we do that? How do we do it? We would just change this, and this is same indexing. Oops. So, all right. So you might say, well, why, why this way? Because I want to remind you, this is going to build you an iterator object. So I use. I can use my next and I won't have to deal with a for loop and I can go in and just drop this in and this is just a just wanted to do a real quick video following last video which was I was very concerned was a little too long but as always thanks for watching please don't forget to like if this is the type of video you're interested kind of give me a heads up and also the the video requests, the comments, the feedback, that is invaluable. Uh, I love I love seeing them, keeps me motivated, helps me go in the direction that you guys need. I've gotten some really awesome video ideas over the past uh, few weeks, um, and then those were highly needed. So what I can't say enough, and what I love telling people who are learning anything, Please don't hesitate to ask a question if you have it because almost, almost always, always 
somebody has that same question and they don't want to ask it. So please ask the question. You're going to be helping yourself out and countless others. So uh, I'll just call out uh, the deep dive in Help Endure. This uh, person who's been watching, awesome comments, lots of feedback, um, lots of support. They wanted to see it. I made it. I wasn't sure if anybody else would love it. It, it, has, it has gone over very well. So please don't hesitate to ask a question. I have a video request. I love those. This is your channel. I want you guys to help lead it and the direction we want to go because I want you to have one place to come for all the resources you need to learn Python. So all right, there's my little ramble. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.